Hi, everybody. Um, this is Professor Bowen Moore, and I am just going to show you some quick videos um, that relate to the UIUX project. And the first one is um, just getting set up and getting your document set up. Um, obviously, we want, we want to set this up for mobile. Um, so you'll use that preset up here. Um, I would say anything uh, uh, above I think most XD is going to require you uh, to use an iPhone uh, 10 or higher more than likely. Um, so we're just gonna choose that uh, for, that's what all I'll be demoing is an iPhone 10. Um, so we're gonna use that first. Um, they do have some other presets down here. They have Samsung, Google, Surface, well, that's actual tablet, but um, an Android. So depending on what type of phone you have, because um, you'll be screenshotting your own phone screen for the project or a friend's phone screen. Um, so I'm just gonna label this as a sample UI UX <clears throat> one. And I would start out with five pages. You may need more than that, but um, I would start out with that uh, first. It's gonna have the preset to the dimensions of the screen size of the iPhone 10. Um, I'm gonna do a 15 pixel bleed on this just to ensure we don't really need a bleed for this. This is not being printed necessarily, um, but I'm gonna leave just a, a border um, and margin line so for bleeding color so just so it ensures that it's not right on the edge um, of the image size so i'm going to do that and so as you can see here i've got five pages that are um, consecutive um, for this and you may need to make a scrolling page for some of the pages so the first page or screen will be the phone screen with your icon in place. So in a student example um, here, I've got the first page and we've just got the iPhone here with the logo that they used. Um, we also have a black background. You can decide if you are doing this for a black or white phone, um, but I would just use, I would keep the image of your photo inside the text margin lines instead of trying to bleed the image itself. So I'd probably place um, a box and have that bleed off the page and then create a frame for the image itself. And Obviously, I'm going to have to enlarge it to fit this. So I'm using my command shift keys. So there may be a little room at the top and bottom. That's okay. And so that would be the first screen. Um, and then, of course, I would add the icon image on top of that. Um, but that's just, you know, placed over one of the widgets that's already there. Um, or just a blank spot you can reserve for your icon. And also, you know, there is a label underneath that as well that will be created. Uh, you can pull down your guides from the ruler to ensure that things are lined up with other um, icons on the screen. So you can definitely test that out. You know, when you design your icon, it's gonna be a perfect square, so. So, and then we'll move forward to the different pages. So, you know, they have a loading screen that takes up three screens. They're showing each progression as the dots. So that could be um, possibly animated. Um, and then, you know, so you'll have a screen for the loading screen, and then you'll have the home 
page primary view and they made it a scrolling page. So to do a scrolling page, all you have to do is select the page. Um, we're gonna go to the page um, tool here. It's the third one down. And we're gonna go up here at the top and where it says liquid page rule. And right now it says controlled by parent. So what that means is if I were to scroll this page, it's gonna scroll every page in my document. So we don't want that. We want to scroll, scroll um, one page at a time. We may not need all of them to scroll. So we're gonna turn that off. And then when you click and drag the page to make it longer, hold the option key. So we're gonna hold that and just, I'm not sure how long we need that to be. Um, and then the box inside that scrolling page, I'm going to extend that as well to the margin line, bottom margin line of that bottom of that scrolling page. And you can see that it is longer. So, you know, if you do have a scrolling page, you want to keep it under uh, 6,000 pixels. So the height of this is 5,434. So we're staying under that. So just keep it under 6,000 pixels um, if you're making a scrolling page. And from there, you just start designing the screens, the static versions of your screens. Um, so just to reiterate, you'll have the home page primary view that is replicated on the next page and then included is the drop down menu or the hidden navigation or secondary navigation. And then we go to the feature story with all of its parts, the opening image, the deck bylines, the drop cap, breakers or subheaders, images, captions, uh, pull quote. And then here's a link to the sidebar content. In this case, it was a recipe and she's got the social media icons as well. And then this is the screen with the uh, the recipe and we can get back to the story or we can get back to the home page or hidden navigation or secondary menu. So those are all the parts that need to be included here. Um, so that's how to get everything set up and get moving with it. All right. Thank you.